what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about the nightmare on elm street franchise in this video here today we're actually going to be going over one of the one of the pitches scripts apparently that the craven estate had the pleasure of examining taking into consideration three years ago when they began actively seeking out pitches uh to revive the ip when the rights reverted back to them but we know i've talked about this bidding war that's been going on some other rumored things that have been shared with me but this is actually a script that i've been sent and I'm in communication with the person responsible for this story. They've backed up the, the fact that they were indeed in communication with the Craven Estate. So I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on their concept, going over their concept briefly, going over the characters who were involved with this concept and just going into how they were approaching reviving Freddy Krueger because it's a very unique thing. But I did want to preface this by going over the stages that we've gone to or gone through to get to this point so back in 2019 according to bloody disgusting when this originally was reported west craven's estate was now actively taking pitches for a new nightmare on elm street once the u.s rights to the movie and kruger were acquired by the estate the outlet noted at the time that the estate were open to taking film and tv show pitches the tv show likely would have aired on hbo max now again that was four years ago at this point back in 2019 what i'm going over is essentially one of those pitches that were involved in the process of being given to the estate this person also let me know about some of the estate's instructions to them so the estate were not interested in doing anything they had seen before so they wanted something completely new in terms of how to revive freddy they did not want freddy the child molester they did not want freddy the child killer here's were the stipulations that this person who i'm going to leave anonymous these were their stipulations that they had if their script had moved forward and if they were involved as a producer one it must be directed by a female they wanted a woman director. Robert England must have been must have been involved in some capacity, whether it be as an executive producer or some other capacity. And three, they didn't want any type of cameos from any of the original stars. They wanted their story to stand on its own and it wanted to just have it prove that it can exist without leaning too much on a legacy, which I can respect wholeheartedly. Now, the whole concept was based on what actually causes nightmares, one's surroundings and experiences. Those are the two primary things. So the script, according to what they described to me, and I also have the script, I have to check it out fully, but given their rundown to me, it's a cross between It Follows and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy itself is an entity of trauma and pain that is created by the character of Olivia and her surroundings. Now, Olivia would function as our main protagonist, but I'm going to get into that in a minute because there's some twist about this. So what, ha what happens with Olivia is after she is brutally assaulted by the town drunk who happens to be named Fred, seeing the shadow of her line cook at the bar polishing knives on the wall, which ends up becoming the glove, the sound of the garbage bin squeak as she takes out the trash before her assault, the sound the gloves making on the metal, amongst other things, causes the horror of Freddy Krueger to manifest. Like actual nightmares people experience, Freddy is a manifestation of pain and suffering in this new idea. So in the script here's a, another recap of what actually happened to olivia olivia sees the shadow of knives on the wall up here and the knives look like fingers the drunk fred assaults her and specifically at one point sticks his hand into her so it manifests as a razor blade when she starts having these nightmares that trauma and those surrounding objects she has seen is what causes freddie to manifest the way that it does in her nightmares which I think is a very cool way to approach Freddy Krueger. Now, there's no actual way to kill a nightmare. In this case, Freddy, once it manifests as its main reason for existing is to cause pain. But you can pass along the trauma and pain by pulling people into your dream. So the trauma spreads like a cancer from person to person and won't end one's pain and suffering until you pull someone in. So one's choices are either be tortured or or death. So here's how Freddy was described upon entering the narrative so olivia throws her cigarette to the ground and turns towards the door when she sees a feet in front of her it's the silhouette of a man is it a woman freddie standing in the middle of the lot behind the bar a dusty red and green sweater drowns the body while the skin that is visible is oozing and shooting pus from the third degree flesh fresh burn lacerations all over the skin freddie's teeth are rotted yellow and eyes like a bloodshot cat this is Freddy like we've never seen him before. The signature glove has longer blades that are serrated and way too sharp for comfort. Only this glove isn't just a glove that's cut off at the wrist. It rides all the way up to the middle of the arm. The fedora on top of the head is patched and moldy. So that's a very 
vivid description of Kruger. I'm already imagining that in my head as I'm going through that description of him. But these are the characters that were involved in this person's screenplay. You again had Olivia, who was apparently inspired by the character of Kirsten. Kayla, who was inspired by Nancy. Graham, inspired by Jesse. Tuesday, Kayla's sister. Rebecca, the brain of the group. Cody, the scorned lover. And then you have Riley, the medic. And then there are others like Dr. Wilcox, the officers. Olivia is set up as our final girl as she's the one who brings Freddie in. And we follow her for the first 30 pages only to pull or we follow her for the first 30 pages and then she's actually the one who dies first but she pulls in kayla who is then set as the final girl tuesday cody rebecca riley all die kayla dies also so you have a double final girl fake out leaving behind the character of graham as our final boy he's ultimately detained for the murder of his friends and then it ends with him in the jail cell hanged but in reality he's pulled in the detective on the case and pulls himself down to have freddie's glove on his hand and it goes through the officer's chest and it ends with him grinning at the audience then we cut to black now i will say that again while that was a brief rundown recap of this person's story because it's not going to happen sadly i told them when they were giving me the rundown it sounds like a mike flanagan sort of approach which is they thought to be a, a lot of kudos coming from me and it really did strike me as something i could see mike flanagan doing it's not mike flanagan i'm in communication with again this person wanted to remain anonymous so it's not mike flanagan <laughs> but they gave me evidence that they were in communication with the craven estate they shared their screenplay with me and i like the way they tackled this approach it's a very refreshing approach it's freddy krueger manifesting as this person's trauma of their abuser rapist and then freddy's signature look is spawned off of the surroundings of what came from their experience with this rapist not a bad idea at all and then of course the trauma keeps on going person to person to person i like what they were doing i like what they were going with i hope and pray that maybe they can get to work on another type of notable ip because i like your fascination with horror if you're listening to this video which i'm sure you are i like the way you were taking things with freddy and making them your own you really did not lean too much on legacy from what i saw outside of nods to certain character deaths and other characters like kirsten from nightmare on elm street 4 and also rod's death at the end of your screenplay which i thought was cool let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below do you like this concept do you not like this concept of freddy being a manifestation of somebody's trauma let me know why or why not also this person basically was reserving it to be open to a man or woman portraying the character which i thought was cool too but subscribe turn on post notification so that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course i'm missing any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video